Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome to the Acoustic versus Classical series here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'm going to provide you with an in-depth uh, comparison between the classical guitar and the acoustic guitar. We're going to start with fingerstyle, because this is a fingerstyle channel, and then in consecutive videos, I'm going to talk about soloing differences, about sound differences, technique differences, and just differences in musical approach between the classical and the acoustic guitars. So let's start with the classical guitar. Now, the main thing that um, makes the classical guitar the superior guitar instrument, uh, basically the king of all guitar instruments, is that every string has its own sound. Okay, each and every string on the classical guitar has its own sound. Now, on an acoustic guitar, the sound is designed to be uniform. It's designed to be the same sound overall. Let me just show you what I mean. When you play a chord, okay, you basically hear one sound, okay? A uniform steely sound and when you play the same chords here on the classical guitar okay, you don't have a uniform sound you have bass sounds okay very clear bass frequencies you have very clear middle frequencies and you have very clear high notes okay it's a very bright sound for the high notes and it's a very damp and strong uh, presence for the low notes. On the acoustic guitar, the guitar is designed to produce a uniform sound um, to give you a block of steel. That's the sound, that's, that's what you're going for. While on the classical guitar, you're actually using different strengths. Now, for example, let's just take a very basic um, pattern, picking pattern, okay, something like this. Okay, it's A minor and I'm playing the A string, then strings one, two, and three twice. Okay, so, okay, so immediately you can hear the differences between the bass, the bass line and the rest of the notes. Each note, each string is a separate sound. Okay, and I'm gonna play you the same thing on the acoustic in a second, and you'll hear the differences. Okay, so uh, I was playing A, and then the chord twice, and then I was playing three on the A string, and did the same. Okay, and then two on the D string. Okay, now immediately you can hear a difference between the Okay, the sound of the fifth string and the sound of the D string. This is a fat presence and this is a slightly um, lower presence. It's kind of a middle ground. And then you have the high, the high notes, which are a little dirty, okay, because of the, the nature of the, the nylon. Okay, it all depends on whether you use your finger, uh, your, your, the, the tips of your fingers, um, the, the skin, or, okay, or the uh, fingernails. I currently have short fingernails, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to demonstrate everything, but um, okay, I'm going to try. So, okay, you can get this thin fingernail sound or, okay, a slightly fatter uh, presence with... The steel uh, with the the, um, the tips of your fingers, so you actually get three different uh, sounds here. You get the A string sound, you get the D string sound, which is a little bit lower in presence, and you get the the high strings. And if you use if you use your fingernails. Okay? It's like you're playing a bass and a guitar. At the same time, you get two different voicing. Not four, but two different voicing. So with the acoustic guitar, you can play the same thing, but then something interesting happens. Okay? 
the difference in sound isn't that big. Of course, you have okay, you have the um, you have the bass notes and the high notes, but the difference in presence. That's what I'm talking about. The difference in presence is different. It's it's huge. That's what I mean. The difference is different. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the the difference in presence is huge because. Okay. The whole chord it kind of turns into a, unif a uniform sound. If if you pay close attention, okay. If you pay close attention, I play the bass, and then I play the high strings, and it's all basically in the same volume. And I'm not doing anything different with my fingers. I I'll play with my f with my uh, fingernails. Yeah, I can play with my fingernails, and it's still pretty much the same volume. Okay, and. I don't like the fingernail sound. I like the fat uh, fingertip sound. Okay, so the, even the difference between the A and D strength isn't that big. It's not as uh, important as the difference between and on the classical guitar. Now it takes a little bit of training to really, really hear this, but this is the basic difference. And um, now, for example, that's why there's uh, there are things that you can play on a classical that don't really sound well uh, on an, an acoustic, and vice versa. For example, if you um, play rhythm guitar on a classical, um, then if if you play country then obviously the acoustic guitar would give you a better sound. Okay? It's not that the classical guitar is not um is not aggressive enough. Now, of course it can be aggressive, okay? We're going to discuss flamenco picking um in in a moment and in a different separate video for rhythm guitar differences, but even just the bass notes. Okay? That's that's the kind of differences that I'm talking about. It's really clear. Okay? The classical guitar is too mellow. It's too mild. Um, it's it, it's a softer sound. Okay? Even if you even if you really 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 attack the string. Okay? It's not nearly as aggressive as Okay, if you attack the 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 steel strength. So, um let's continue with finger style. Um on a classical guitar, well, basically whatever you play would sound classical. Okay? Right? No matter which which chord you play. Okay? Doesn't doesn't really Okay, it doesn't really matter which chord you play, it's gonna sound classical. Okay, obviously because it's a classical guitar. Now this, okay, it's the same chord, but you get a completely different expression. It's the same chord. Okay, I'm playing the same chords. So this is a steely uniform sound. Okay? And this is a softer sound, so you have to learn how to utilize. Okay, you need to learn how to utilize it. If you're looking for blues, then playing this, okay, is gonna sound really, really beautiful. While this, okay, is gonna sound bluesy, especially if. Especially if you twang the strength. Twanging doesn't really work. Okay, on on a, on a twanging doesn't really work on a on a classical. It sounds like you're hitting uh, a piece of cardboard because steel hits steel and creates a sound, and you can't really get this twang out of a, a classical when you hit the nylon upon the steel. Okay, when nylon meets steel, when it hits the steel fret, 
it dampens the note. Uh, you want to be really, you want to be really, really delicate when you. Okay, you want to give the note um, as much space to grow and vibrate. Um, unlike on, a, on an acoustic, where you sometimes want to dampen the note on purpose and let the steel, okay, the steel, okay, you want that dirty, okay, that dirty steel sound, while here, if I play the same thing, okay, it wasn't exactly the same, okay, I don't want to, okay, I don't want to dampen the, the, the note, unless it's for percussive purposes, but I want to play I want to um, I want to let the notes ring I want to let the full it's a it's a full bodied sound and um, the the thing is that on a classical because you have uh, the, the real upside of the classical guitar is that because you have so uh, many different sounds for the different strings um, you can have the same note. Okay, and have and have a completely different expression for all of them. This is a completely different expression. Okay, on each and every string. Now, on an acoustic guitar, all you get is um um. A bit of a of a fatter sound, but the basic sound remains the same. Okay, it's it's a okay, it's, okay, it's slightly fatter, but the expression, the color, doesn't change. Okay, it because okay, it's slightly fatter and it's slightly more uh, full body but it's the same steely sound because of the uniform sound that the acoustic guitar is going for. And um, you can hear this when you try to noodle around with uh, something like the one finger chord change that I show you in a, in a different video. You can start with any chord you want and uh, just change the fingering. So, okay, you see, because because you can hear, even with dirty notes, okay, you can hear the, you can hear each and every note very, very clearly. You can, you can even identify, okay, you can, you can find, okay, for example, if you play this chord on a, on an acoustic guitar, it's gonna sound dirty. It's gonna sound. Yeah, you have you have this, but on a okay. But you just heard that on a classical guitar, it sounded very, very clear. Okay, even that minor second here sounded very clear. Now I'm gonna try to. Okay, you see, you don't. It's just one block of sound. Okay, you don't really hear. All those notes that I played, okay, unless I arpeggiate. Okay, which is a great sound in and of itself, but it takes great talent to make an acoustic guitar sing like a classical guitar. You see? It's the same chord. It's the same chord, but on, a, on acoustic guitar, it sounded very dirty, very weird, very alien-ish. While, on, while on, an, on a classical guitar, it sounded... Okay, it sounds really interesting, because each string has its own um, expression. And that's what makes the classical guitar the ultimate guitar, the king of guitars, and that's why it's so difficult to play.
So um, in the next videos, we're gonna explore each of these uh, sound expressions and techniques uh, in depth, more in depth. This was kind of an overall comparison. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how you can make the best of your classical guitar. So thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.